In this problem, we're asked to determine uh, when a particle whose position function is given here uh, speeds up. So recall that an object speeds up when its velocity and its acceleration agree in their sign, when they have the same sign. So this question is really asking, when does sign of, or I guess signs of velocity and acceleration agree or be the same? When do they work together? So that means we're going to need uh, the velocity function as well as the acceleration function. And to analyze their signs, we're going to use a sign chart. So the velocity function here, which is defined as the rate of change of position, or the derivative of position, would be x prime. So let's go ahead and take that. That would be 3t squared minus 24t plus 45 plus 0 using the power rule. Uh, we're going to find the roots, which will allow us to make a sign chart. So generically, these are called critical numbers. But here, these happen to be when the object is at rest. So if we factor a 3 out, we end up with this. We need a positive 15 and a negative 8, so both of our signs will be negative. And it'd be negative 5 and negative 3, which implies that our object is at rest at 3 and at 5. So these are going to be the bases of our sign chart. We're going to plot them on the number line on the next slide here. So I have a number line. On it rests uh, 0 for 1. Uh, the reason 0 lies on my number line and the reason I've drawn it sort of largely like this um, is because my time values are always positive. It doesn't really make sense to have negative time anyway, so um, I'm only dealing with positive numbers. So I have 3 and I have 5. I'm going to plot my velocity function here up on top, and I have three intervals of consideration between 0 and 3, between 3 and 5, and beyond 5. So let me bring my velocity function over here in just a second. So down there in blue, I have the uh, velocity work copied from the previous slide. I'm going to pick test values in each interval. I'm going to pick a number between 0 and 3. Uh, 1 seems like it's probably pretty good. And if I pick 1 and plug it into the velocity function, I'm going to use this f uh, factored form of it. I get 3 times 1 minus 5 is negative, and 1 minus 3 is also negative. So 3 times negative times negative yields a positive. If I plug in a number here, 4 is the obvious choice in the next interval. 3 times 4 minus 5 is negative, times 4 minus 3 is positive. So I have positive, negative, positive. The result of that multiplication will be negative. And if I pick a number bigger than 5, let's say 10, uh, somewhere out here, I'm going to have 3 times t 10 minus 5, which is positive, times 10 minus 3, which is also positive. So 3 times plus times plus will give me a positive result. So keep in mind, this describes the velocity of the particle. It tells us when the object is moving right, then left, and then right for these three intervals, as we can see. Uh, but it's possible to slow down while moving right and to speed up while moving left and combinations thereof. So we also have to consider the acceleration. Remember, this question asks, when does the object speed up? Which means, when does the velocity and acceleration have the exact same sign? So we found the velocity sign. Let's find the acceleration sign. So separate here, my acceleration function, which is the derivative of velocity, which is also the second derivative of position, would be this thing's derivative right here. So taking its derivative will give me 6t minus 24 minus 0 using the power rule. Set so that equal to 0 to find when the acceleration is 0, because if a number is 0 at certain locations, it must be positive or negative everywhere else, because that's the only kind of numbers that we have. So solving this quickly, we find that t equals 4 is going to be our terrace point generically, but here there's no really special name for it. It's just when the acceleration is 0 when our foot comes off the gas, so to speak. So I have uh, two intervals, which is between 0 and 4, and then beyond 4. So once again, pick test values. I'm modeling acceleration here uh, below the axis. Um, and I'm going to plug in test values into the acceleration function right here. So a number between 0 and 4, let's pick 1. 6 minus 24 will give me a negative result. And 
finally, in the uh, other region, if I plug in, let's say, 10 out here again, I get 60 minus 24, which is obviously some kind of positive result. So my sign chart here models velocity in blue and acceleration in green. The original question says, when does the object speed up? So I need the same sign. Let me look at this interval by interval. I have positive and then negative, if I look at the way that it's drawn here, so that's no good. Here I have negative and then negative as well. So this actually does check out. I'm going to keep that red there because I have negative signs for both V and A. Between 4 and 5, I have a negative velocity and a positive acceleration. That's a conflict, so I'm not going to select that. And then from 5 onward, I have both a positive velocity and a positive acceleration. So my object is speeding up at these two particular times. So the actual answer is the object speeds up on the interval 3, 4, in union with the interval from 5 to infinity. Hope this helps.